good kitten internet and I remembered at the end of the last video that I don't want to do any dungeons right now because I have no way of identifying anything. So I am going to back out of here and just go to town. Specifically, I want to go to, I believe it's the western stables that will send me the creek spire. Hello, fireball. Goodbye, fireball. While I'm at it, might as well threaten some more people. There's 650. So it's minus 50 reputation for each threaten. So what I'm doing actually is... Oh, it's... Late in Thursday? That's right, it's Friday that I need, not Thursday. Dang it. I think I may end up just having to wait it out. is worth 20 reputation loss. Okay. Can I seriously do this without actually... I wonder if I could become notorious through this alone. Seven twenty. Just talk to everybody. Get as low of a reputation as I can. Silly fools. Uh, the one time I actually want the stupid diplomacy system to backfire. There we go. Even the nobles are still socializing with me. It's great. Monstrous. I believe Notorious is minus a thousand. So let's try things out. See if I can get to minus a thousand without actually having to complete that quest. I'm gonna complete it anyway, but monstrous still. This is so silly. I've never done this this way. 920 is monstrous. 970 is monstrous. Technically, I need to bribe and threaten, and that's it. But. That is Notorious Reputation. That is all I needed. And from here, I need to travel to Paradise Valley to go Master Dark. So, I am curious about something. And that something is heading over to Silver Cove, which creates an autosave. That's fine. And let's see if I get arrested on sight. I don't. Hold on a moment. I need to... Okay, so that puts me at ease because now I just need to travel to Paradise Valley. Okay, so remember what I had said earlier that the further west you go, the harder the enemies get? Well, we're about to show you what I mean because we're going to go all the way west. And this is not going to be pretty. These are Hydras. Notice that everything has a maximum hit point bar all the way over. Yeah, everything here has a maximum hit point bar all the way over. Uh, it is now Tuesday. Night. Drat. Mm, that puts me off schedule for Creek Spire. I don't think I want to do that then. Uh, drat. I think, honestly, my best option is sleeping. As sad as that is. I don't think there's much of anything I can do overnight. I don't want to go loot a dungeon. Uh, I can go start destroying things. I guess I could start killing things in Mire of the Damned? Ugh. I hate the Mire. I have to be very careful as I cast sparks and hit lots of things. 
Including a townsperson. I totally hit a townsperson. Let's try that again. Okay. First off, I'm going to go back and heal before I do anything else. Um, recall. Closest Ba Temple would be Castle Iron Fist. Oh, it reset again. I still have a bunch of bones in my inventory, too. Good job, me. Alright, so... I don't believe I had mentioned this, but good kitten internet. My apologies. Alright, let's take out the lizard archers and the regular archer. There we go. Well, I'm gonna heal from the Temple of Ba anyway, so it doesn't matter. Hmm. How are you this morning? Um, for me, this is Sunday morning. Uh, this is the anniversary of my father, or my father's birthday. He would have been 67 if he was still alive. So, happy birthday, Dad. I don't know if my dad ever actually ended up mastering dark magic, now that I think about it. And I was going to go to the mire for some dumb reason. I pretty much have to use melee damage here. Because it's the only reliable way that I have of not hitting a stupid townsperson. This is why I hate the mire so much. So many undead. You now what? Go ahead and start casting our spells. You can also get stun locked really easily here because there's so many enemies and you have to be so careful about things. I found a ring. Let me see what it is. Oh wait, I can't. All right. Um, go ahead and cast. Is it all within sight? Yeah, it's all within sight. Let's focus on the Skeleton Lords because they cause curse like that. I don't even think there is a temple here. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I know what I'm doing next round. Remove curse on the sorcerer. So I can cast single target spells without being too concerned, but... <clears throat> I don't want to accidentally screw things up, basically. Okay, you know what? You four... Oh, I don't have turn undead. I don't have um, destroy undead, I mean. Destroy undead would also be a safe spell. Uh, turn to stone. This is one of the few times where turn to stone is useful. Because you can inflict status effects on random peasants and you don't get any reputation lost so you turn the stone hey, turn the peasant to stone and then you can just start blasting spells left and right because they're stone they're immune to damage i'm sure the peasants see it the same way Ooh, arrow bad need to be careful about this Okay, you should be safe for an arrow. All I'm trying to do is give myself a little bit of space. And then I think I have Master Perception here, <clears throat> which would be nice. Had to resist the urge to just fireball, that would be bad. Okay. 
And what is it, Isun? You want to come up here? You're always popular on my videos. Meryl? If you want attention, just come on up here. Okay, that's all I can see at the moment. Alright, I know that there's more undead back there. Let's hit the skeleton. Pass turn. Hit the skeleton. So yeah, um, if you didn't know, I'm actually passing turn from time to time. I'm gonna cure. I'm gonna remove the curse anyway. I don't think it has an effect on knights, but then again, I didn't realize what the effects of weakness were. So why risk, risk it, right? Okay, good. So clear that out. Yeah, they also keep normal business hours for some dumb reason. Blink trauma weapons. You're a ditch digger. Greetings. You're a house. Uh, you're an arms master. Okay. Yeah, I. This is really bad advice, by the way. Uh, using two different weapons. Um, you can use sword and spear. That's not terrible. Or sword and axe. Well. In the modded version of the game the original version of the game you have just taken a really nasty delay for absolutely no reason um there really isn't a reason to go sword dagger because if you have the sword skill you can wield a sword in left hand at master level master level does take longer to get to but why are you wasting points on dagger then smoke and mirrors is the item shop pleased to meet you Expert axe fighting, I already have. Master spear training. I didn't have anybody with spear this time because I've done spear before, so. You're a psychic. Also, um, everybody that's inside of buildings will always talk to you no matter what, regardless of reputation. Here's a quest. Um, this is when I go to Castle Darkmoor, which I'm still going to delay for a while, especially since I don't even have the quest for it. But basically, the Book of Liches is in there. He wants it destroyed. Um, you pretty much always reach the Book of Liches. So it's not exactly a hard quest to do, since you have to go to Castle Darkmoor for a required quest anyway. Um, this is the reason why Darkmoor is so screwed up, is that that's where the Necromancer's Guild of Enroth was before they got banned. So surprise. And I'm seen by somebody... I'm going to just walk out here. That way I can just interact with them without having to worry about freaking townspeople. I barely did any damage. Yay, glitchy wall. There's still one more that went on the other side. Might have even flown over. So loop around here. Be careful. Lots of quick saving going on. So I don't want to hurt anybody. That's my goal of this run, is that I don't want anybody hurt. You still don't have enough for expert mace. You're not a real building. I activated a different ghost. There we go. You're expert merchant training. Why the hell is there a merchant here? Why the hell is anybody here for that matter? I've already gone through that. Trying to find anything in here is a nightmare, by the way. I do not have this place memorized at all. Because it's just dumb. Okay, there's the spellmaster again. So I looped around. I must have gone from that side instead of this side. Again, this place is so dumb. So dumb. There's only one other town in the game that has monsters in town. 
And that town doesn't have any peasants, so you don't have to worry as much. Master Chain? Yeah, you're not ready for Master Chain. That's right, because I didn't bother throwing any stack points in anything like that. Go away. Greetings. Master Perception, here we go. Okay. Now I am a Master Perception person. That ends what I wanted from Darkmoor, actually. Uh, time of night, it's 11 p.m. I should be able to... Yeah, I can go to Blackshire and shop for dark magic. That's right, Blackshire is a place that has... Okay. We've got Armageddon. So this is normally how I end up getting to um, the lowest level of reputation. Armageddon deals damage to everything on the map. Everything. Including your characters, including townspeople, it nukes everything. Um, typically what I end up doing is just nuking Darkmoor over and over and over again, just because it, they're better off that way. Um, in this case, I'm trying to be nicer this game, so I didn't do that. Shrinking Ray, I already have. Shrap Metal, I already have. Reanimate, I already have. Or don't want. Day of Protection is something that I want. I already have Day of Protection, don't I? Um, well, I'm just going to reload this, but let me double check to see what dark magic spells I have. Yes, I have Day of Protection. Mass Curse, Shrap Metal, Day of Protection. And Mass Curse is kind of a useless spell anyway. Moon Ray, yes please. Moon Ray is the only all enemies within sight spell that you can use outdoors. It does very little damage, but it's also healing. So, that's appropriate. Um, toxic Cloud, yes. I'll go ahead and grab that. Dragon Breath is the most powerful direct damage spell in the game. It's basically a fireball that does more damage, but look how much spell points it costs. That's a huge problem with a lot of dark magic spells, is they just cost too much to use frequently. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up, though. I'll pick up Shrinking Ray. Why not? I'll pick up Armageddon. I'll just fill in the blanks, basically. That's the one I need to sell. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now I'm missing one. I'm missing two dark magic spells. So I can't remember what this one is now. This one is dark containment. I know that. Dark Containment is a spell that inflicts every status effect in the game on something, and then does a lot of damage to everything around it. Uh, it's very, very useful in dealing with Tatans people, because one of the status effects it inflicts is Flesh to Stone. So, I don't remember what this spell is off the top of my head, though. Hmm. Let's check. Because they should be selling it. Finger of Death is the one that I'm missing. Okay. That's not that big of a deal to me. Okay. So. Um, what do I do? I guess I go start clearing out more Darkmoor. <sighs> I'm not a fan of the idea, but... What else am I going to do? I don't think there's anything else for me in this side of Darkmoor. There's definitely things on the other side of Darkmoor. Here's the horseshoes for Darkmoor. Why they put them on a hill, I have no idea. I'm going to go fly to the other side of Darkmoor. That's a shrine, right? Yes. Making sure a shrine ends up on my screen. Harpies are the last. Wait, that means that there's four enemy types here. Anyway, let's go ahead and start working on removing curse. Ah, there is the Temple of Ba here. Sweet.
nothing flying near me, that's fine. I should keep working on remove curse. Okay. Now that I have one person whose curse has been removed, this is nowhere near as big of a deal. Ah, I do have ghosties. The faces that these people make. I like how they went for realism looking, but it's so goofy sometimes. Okay, everybody's uncursed now, so that's good. And we still have Skelly Bros. I'm gonna take damage just because it's easier. So, I mean, seriously, the Temple of Oz right next to me. Also, I want to test a theory. So, I seemingly remembered, so I'm at 1020 Notorious. No, well, I didn't increase. I know I've done that before, where I found out that donating at the Temple of Ba when you have really low, um, really low reputation increased it instead of decreasing, but I'm not seeing any signs of that. Weird. How many more of my memories are incorrect? I don't know. What about any of you? Do you have faulty memory where you swear that you remember something happening and it totally didn't? I don't like fighting over water because that means nobody gives loot. See? Body just disappears. Also, uh, merchant increase. Oh, that's the reason why I'm doing so well on selling things, is that I have a mercantile increase. And then, boat travel reduced by two days, gold increased by 10%, reputation... Okay, so I am effectively gaining money right now, but not much. This isn't where I wanted to go for reference, I'm just clearing out a path. Yay, harpies. Ah, oh, that was inland, that's good. Okay, I need to go north. So there's an area right at the start of my... So usually when you get here, you're actually walking from Castle Ironfist. So you end up over in this area. Those are Snurkle's Mines. This is where I'm looking for. You have no idea how tempted I've been to just nuke everything forever. And you know what? I don't think this even works. Bought a little bit of damage. Oh, I actually did do something. I mean, there's only 4d4 right now because I don't have very many ranks in dark magic. so I'm not exactly doing a great job by floating. Let's switch back to Meteor Shower. Meteor Shower is the answer to everything. Just aim there and fire. Except Meteor Shower is the answer to everything. Well, except for the times where it's Starburst instead. So there's no Innocence over here, so I don't need to worry too much. The only Innocence are actually over in... Um, that guy. Ah, I wasn't able to get the others. Um, the only Innocence are over in the City of Darkmoor. And I use the term city loosely. 
Darkmoor is a lot easier to deal with when you have Meteor Shower. Unfortunately, half the enemies here are... What can we call it? Um, flying. And Meteor Shower doesn't work as well on flyers, as I've discussed in the previous episode. Screw it. Ah, are you around back or something? No? Where the hell are you? Wizard Eye just dropped, which means Fly is probably not too far away from dropping. No, oh, actually, I still have an hour on Fly. This is going to be another do nothing episode, isn't it? So um, over there you can sort of see on the map is the circus. Uh, there's three different spots in the game for the circus. Uh, Meyer of the Dam, Bootleg Bay, and Blackshire. I had to think about it. Um, I could have swore you were over here. You're not already in the mines, are you? Let's find out. No, you're not already in the mines. So that's the quest location for where I need to go, but where the hell's Snurkel? I could have swore he was over there. I might need to look this up. Maybe it's because I entered weirdly? Now I have light going across my shoulder. It's bright outside today. Uh, I'll be going out and about a little bit later. Um, let me go look this up really fast because I'm starting to doubt myself. Snurkle's Mines. So, Avonrails is in the... Oh, it's in regular Darkmoor, not... Arg. Okay, let me go walk up, uh, fly back over to regular Darkmoor. Dang it, me. Void harpies? Nope. <sighs> go back to regular Darkmoor. I'm still in yellow. Huh, that's weird. Okay, the glare is going to be annoying, so I'm going to sit like this for a bit. Okay, I need to find the actual bar here. It's the Haunt is the name of the bar. Let's dark more travel. Remember, it was in a dumb spot, too. I keep seeing blunt trauma weapons. I mean... Don't get me wrong, that's a great name for a weapon shop, but that's not what I'm looking for. Smoke and mirrors. Was like the inn around back somewhere, I want to say? Oh, fly finally expired. Let's just recast it. This place is scary. The Haunt, here we go. You have got to be kidding me. <sighs> kind of tempted to reload. 
Just because I didn't do all that much. Yeah, let's reload. I'm gonna go the haunt more directly. Now that I know where it's at, shouldn't be too bad. Just fly over water. Ah! I hate curse. Well, there's one of the pedestals. All right, which one of you have the? Oh. There we go. There's actually a glitch in the regular game where you accidentally put the wrong creatures on the pedestals, and you actually have to go back and fix it after you patch. Which is weird. That's not the type of thing I would have thought would have been glitched, but it was. Let's curse. Now I know where the hunt is, I could just fly over to it. I was thinking, it's like, isn't it around back somewhere in something that looks like a house? Andril Smithers. Avenril? Anvil Smithers. Anyway, um, the king of the dwarves, Snurgel, usurped Rocklin for its leadership of the dwarven clans. Now Rocklin is in exile somewhere, and Snurgel is in charge. Most dwarves don't like Snurgel and would like to see Rocklin back in power. Unfortunately, Snurgel has claimed both Rocklin's caverns and the largest dwarven iron mine. Snurgel, fearing treachery near home, has removed me, the dwarven weapon master, from my position. We need someone to get Snurgel out of power by any means necessary. I'd even consider training you humans to use an axe like a two dwarf if you help us. Um, so this is the only dwarf that you meet in the game that doesn't want to kill you. Always fun. All right, now let's head over to the iron mines. You actually have to go through two separate dungeons for this. I didn't particularly want to go through a dungeon right now, since I can't ID item anything. But it's not that bad of an idea. Mostly because I'm waiting until sunrise anyway. So that gives me five game hours to do whatever. Fly over here. Pick up the dead bodies that apparently I didn't pick up before my quick save. And fly to the north. I'm still wondering what in the world the game designers thought they were doing when it came to this place, because, I mean, this is just miserable. Yes. See what I mean by it's actually somewhat hard to hit flying things? The specter was in the middle of everything and didn't get hit. All right, iron mines. As dwarves and has dwarves earth elementals, I wanna say, and oozes. That's the problem with the iron mine. Luckily, I actually have enough offensive spells now where this is less of a problem. See, I'm actually doing damage to these things. Um, I mean, for that matter, Dragon's Breath actually works, but look how much... Nope, oh, Dragon's Breath does not work. They're immune to regular magic, and that's the problem with Dragon's Breath, is that it's magic attack. See, I'm actually doing enough damage to be able to kill Uses now. We're going to switch back to sparks. Um, do you have a wand in your inventory that will help? Toxic cloud, shrink ray, no, not really. Um, Reptile does nothing, yeah. 
Um, weapons that have magic damage enchantments on them actually work, but it can't be poison damage. And that's where my problem comes in, because I think... Let's see, that is increased rate of recovery, that's fire damage. Mordred is just stealing health. That doesn't do fire damage, that's recovery, that does poison damage. Yeah, I have one character who can actually do damage with a melee weapon. And it's not much damage, because only the magic damage comes in. Uh, I don't suppose I know. I do not. Um, why not? So, good to know that Curse actually affects spells that are cast from once. Did not know this. Now I do. So I guess there is a reason to remove Curse. So, oozes I can deal with. I have to deal with them slowly, but I can deal with them. Their protection just fell. Mm, yeah. That's the sound of a dwarf, by the way. Dwarf lords and dwarf. Oops, I forgot that I still have shrinking ray on. Think there we go. I should probably cast heroism. Magic works really well in here for reference. But I don't have that great of elemental spells. I primarily have other types of spells. Bless. Oh, I should have cast haste while I'm at it. Oh, something broke. My armor. How dare you. Does poison spray even work on dwarves? Nope. Didn't think so. two-handed axe. This is basically where you find all of the axes in the game. Also, recast wizard eye. Um, Few cast telekinesis. Money. And things I can't identify. I'm gonna have a lot of identifying to do when I leave and re-get my stuff. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Why did I do this without going into turn-based mode? I have no idea. I have something broken. What did you break? My armor. I guess these people only break armor. This is not a real item, or not a real credenza. It does not have stuff in it. You know what? One more up for the big guy. And that's fighter trap disarm. Technically, you can actually avoid those if you time it right. Anything but the lightning one can be avoided. Um, let's go ahead and power cure. See how much more effective haste is. That one could be telekinesed. Yep, I totally made that a verb. Ah, I was too close. Money. I can't even identify the most basic of things. All of this has been looted, right? Yeah, I looted this one too.
This has lots of oozes. Great. That didn't even do damage. Oh, so it does actually do damage. Notice that I have done some damage. Just doesn't show up because there's no physical damage being dealt. It's weird, don't ask. Really, Sparks is the hero of this area. Because Sparks does so much more damage than the other spells I have right now. I believe this is all food. Yeah. Basically raiding their larders, for lack of a better way of phrasing it. Okay. Don't want to continue that way yet. Let's go ahead and hit this. See, that was what was going on in my head constantly when it came to... Uh, this is awfully suspicious. Um, devils! I did not realize... That's right, I remember that there were devils in here now. Devils are actually fairly nasty. Do I even have a high enough hit bonus to hit them properly? Oh, you need to be here. Oh, that's the wrong spell. I still have Cure Weakness. That's my active spell, don't I? Uh, yep. Uh, Cure Wounds. Okay. Technically, Power Cure does heal more per person. But it's not by much. And devils don't leave behind bodies. That's why I hate dealing with them. Anyway, giant treasure chamber. I'm just going to fight or trap disarm these. Right. Uh. And now, power cure. Fight or trap disarm the last one. Orders from Snurgle. We need at least 150% production from this mine for the next few weeks. I'm going to need arms and armor for my soldiers to quell any discontent about my rule. Continue to look for any of the more precious metals like Stalt or Kurger. Ignore the golden gems for the right now. We have enough money to last quite a while. The lack of weapons and armor will be on our undoing. Oh, no. yeah, honestly, this is probably not going to be a good weapon anyway. Oh. That's fine. I mean, there's a fountain at the beginning that actually restores magic points, which is why I wasn't too concerned about spending. Uh, how am I doing on duration for haste? 36 minutes. Okay. I will need to recast it soon. Ah, crap. And I finished it up. Let's just go ahead and recast haste now. I still haven't figured out what actually triggers that other than having high enough skill. It's got to be intentional because they left it into each of the games. Oop, something broke and I have low hit points. Uh, yeah, you definitely repair your awesome shield, please. Mm, yeah, 
power cure is probably justified. Always go after. I still don't understand the point of this outlook. I mean, it's cool and all, but. They're strangely quiet. I think these are devils. Nope. Ugh. This room. So basically what I'm doing is splitting my attacks up. Yep. What broke this time? A ring. See, you can always make a mage into a melee fighter. You can't make a melee fighter into a mage. Ones just don't do that much. One more up for the big guy. Apparently, Ed is the big guy. Mm, probably is. I don't know. I don't know my character's heights. You're the last enemy. Found another axe. Huh. Accidentally knocked my... I am running out of inventory space. Uh, time, 3.27 a.m. Sounds like dwarves. Yep, looks like dwarves. Die like dwarves. Uh, haste is lasting another hour and four minutes. I'm fine. Stop breaking my dang armor. Ugh, oh, I need to heal. Actually, I think what I'll do is swap more droid around. For the time being. So he'll start gaining more hit points. Because he's getting hit a lot more than the rest. I'm out of inventory space and I can't identify anything. Great. I mean, I can sort things a little bit better. That will help. Shorter things go over to him. Who knows? I'm out of space for fancy hats. There we go. His inventory is now 100% full. Go ahead and resort slightly. That takes three, okay. And now I can go pick up that ax, pick up the money. Here's the key for a different part of the area. Notice that it went to condition yellow. That means that something spawned. So I need to be careful. It's probably in here. No? Here? Throne room, maybe? That might be the reason for this outlook. Yep. I also hear devils. Great. So I'm going to go clean the throne room first. Also double check on haste, 30 minutes. Just recast it now. Probably 
probably should have recast Bless and Heroism. Yeah, I see you, Devil Spawn. Oop. Need to pay attention to that one. That's disease? Yes. Cure disease yourself. Okay, now that I did that, bounce back over here, which apparently has no enemies in it. It's a library. Bottle of orange liquid. Give me that intellect. Bookshelves. Aw, yeah. These usually have spell books in them. Just clicking on everywhere on the bookshelves. And through, nothing of interest. So what I'm doing is that I'm actually looting books and picking them up. These are various spell books. Um, I actually don't normally do this line of quests, but this is one of the easy ways to just fill your spell book with spells. Unfortunately, I, well, for one, my inventory is full. Um, unfortunately, as I was saying, I, can't learn that. I end up getting a lot of spells that I can't actually cast. Protection from poison, I already know. Uh, let's see, protection from fire. Okay. Flame arrow, both of you know. Torch light, both of you know. Wizard eye, both of you know. Static charge, both of you know. Both of you know. All right, you know, you know, you know. Both of you know. Yes. Both. All right, you know. Yeah, I used a couple at least. The rest will be cell bait. It's fine. Okay, cleared that section out. So I think we only have over here and up north left. It's in this way. You're going to find space for that because that's actually a really nice shield. Why is there a cookpot indoors? I really don't understand some of the decisions in this game. You should probably heal yourself a little bit. A little bit of everything. Inferno! 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 When in doubt, keep casting Inferno! I have plenty of magic points on those two. Unfortunately, devils are immune to it. Get rid of the devil spawns. That should be it for these mines. Oh, do I have any prayer at all of finding an inventory spot for this? Um, it would fit there, actually. Can I rearrange these better? That work. Those will just have to sit there. Blue, green, blue. I only hit two of them. Which one did I miss? Oh, I must have hit all three. And orange. I haven't been giving you much in the way of intellect. And now, begins looting. Is this entire thing one? I think it is, yeah. So this wall is a second. Mm. 
basically judging off of what type of item it is as to whether it's actually worth picking up. Do that way. And that is it for Snurkle's Mine. Uh, the second part of this is in Castle Ironfist, which I guess I could teleport to now, but it's also sunrise, which means that I can just leave. Uh, why don't I just leave? It opens at six anyway, so. Yep, that's not where I wanted to go. Must be the other ones. I hope it's the other ones. I hope I didn't just waste a full day for absolutely no damn reason. Can't stand moving so slow. Yes, okay. Welcome to Kriegspire. Uh, Kriegspire is where I need to turn around. Price fix. I believe that's the last one. I certainly hope so. So first thing we're going to do is, oh, so there's one particular well. You'll notice that there's no townspeople around. Uh, there's a good reason for that. Um, there's one particular well. Is it this one? Yep. This gives you a temporary bonus to level. Look how much that affects you. Um, you have the same amount of hit points. It's just that it increases your maximum HP and spell points because you leveled up 30 times effectively. This is the best thing to drink of in the game. Eventually, we will have points in the game where I Lloyd speak into to drink from wells and fountains and so on. So this is the spot that's going to get beaconed. We'll set that there. I think we are now set to town portal back to Silver Cove. Fly over to here, and I think we just finished the quest in one day, or two days. There we go. So gain 25,000 gold, and if you're concerned about the suffering of the peasants over my price increase, don't be. I did it all for a good cause. I needed to raise money for granaries to store the excess grain we are harvesting this year. The shipping prices are back down. The availability of cheap, high-quality grain more than makes up for it. There, I'm not so horrible, am I? Yeah, your reputation drops by nearly 200 for doing that quest. Anyway, now that we've done that, now let's go ahead and walk over to... Paradise Valley. Oh boy. It's the most overland travel I've done this game. Oh, poopy. I just realized I don't have a way of setting a beacon here without overriding something. I guess I can overwrite Iron Fist, but I'm going to need to go there pretty quick. Beacon. Oh. I don't want to overwrite the rest of those. Uh, I guess eel infested waters is the one I'm not going to go into for a while. But the only way I can get there is that I'm, I'm going to have to overwrite Iron Fist. So the reason why I'm overwriting Iron Fist is that I know I can get there via other means. I can go through that dungeon. All right. Uh, it's over there that I'm seeing. Is it Titans? Yep. So these are the things that I fight in the zone primarily. They're titans. They're nasty. However, there's a secret to titans, and they actually become one of the easiest enemies in the game as a result. Um, let's see. First off, I think Meteor Shower still works on them. Yep. Wrong character. Right character, okay. So, um... Meteor Shower. It didn't do that much. So the trick is that they are so tall they can instantly kill my cleric. Let's try this again, shall we? I don't have a quick save. Let's just actually do what we came here to do. Ah. Uh, 
All right, let's fly as fast as I can. So there's a Temple of Ba down here, which is good. When I actually come by to clean out this place, that will be extremely helpful. There's the obelisk. I'm just going to telekinesis, grab the obelisk. There we go. Then fly over to this lovely town full of freaking titans. All right, here is the problem and solution of this place. So titans don't really have a great way of hitting you at their feet. So as long as you can only get one titan at a time, you can actually take them out pretty easily. Relatively, I should say. Um, you won't be taking anywhere near as much damage. As long as you don't have multiple titans ganging up on you. Then you start having problems re at low level. Titans are some of the easiest things for me to kill in the game. What broke? That ring. It's as good as new. It's as good as new. That's heroism. Be nice if I had hour of power, but I don't. So I'm getting hit by that one titan right there. Yeah, they're immune to sparks. I think they're also immune to poison spray. They're not immune to poison spray. Huh. And you broke something. Oh. You broke something, I don't even know what it is. It identified as I repaired. I don't think I've noticed that before. So I'm being able to get one of these, but I'm not so sure I'm going to be able to. Yep, nope, I've got too many enemies nearby now. And here I even have too many. Drat. Okay. I seem to remember it's like here. Hello. Nope, that's Ancient Weapons Master. Greetings. That's a sailor. And you're a titan. Hello. You're a noble. Hello. I'm in the middle of a crossfire right now. This is not good. You're a navigator. Oh dear, I really need to make sure I'm okay. Hello. Yep, that was what I was afraid of. Okay, I, as long as my town portal person lives, I should be okay. It's not great. This is a lot better when I can actually kill things. So what I think I'm doing is I'm going to find the house, remember where it's at, reload, go straight there. Because I now have two people who are dead. Yep, I'm done there. Go back to the quick save, which I forgot to quick save after hitting the obelisk apparently. That's not good. Wizard Eye. Day of Protection. Because everything is using freaking elemental magic. Mine. Telekinesis. That spot. GTFO. Although Hydras aren't that dangerous by comparison to everything else here. That's a small hope, or small benefit. Once more, I auto-saved. So this is a sword dagger expert. I might as well pick up a couple of things. I mean, technically I'm buying everything at cost. I could just pick up anything and enchant it. But I don't have room for most of this. You're a tracker. 
You're a guide. You're a pathfinder. Where the hell is the dam? I'm looking for one particular person. There! Unfortunately, I have somebody dead, but I have raised dead now, don't I? Um, let's see. Spirit, raise dead. You. Power cure. Oh, you're still unconscious? Ugh. Okay. Was not expecting that. Power cure. Okay. Okay. Master of Dark. This is the only reason why I came here. So I have learned Mastery of Dark from the only thing I can guess is a lich. And that's the whole reason why I arrived. Now I want a GTFO. <sighs> God damn it. Okay, well, I know where it's at now. It's actually easier without the um, scroll wheel based fly. Okay, dark, dark. Yes, um, I should read this out. I can bring experts of dark magic up to master, provided that they meet my standards. I only teach the genuinely dedicated, those so evil their reputations are as bad as they can get, the truly notorious. I make no exceptions and charge no fee in the interest of spreading darkness throughout the world. Town portal. Anywhere but here. Anywhere at all. I think I'll actually go to White Cap. No, I've got stuff to sell. Let's go to New Serpical. And we're going to stop this episode here. Hope you've enjoyed my adventure of running the hell away from everything. I will talk to you next time.